Hi there, this is Andrea with GardenofCreativity.com and this is the project we're making today. It's a cute and very simple to put together treat. Um, this is the little um, Hershey's miniatures, but you can also use Hershey's nuggets. Um, the dimensions will work the same. So what you're going to need is some designer series paper. I'm using Lost Lagoon designer series paper stack. Um, or the in colors paper stack. And you're going to need however many pieces of candy um, that you want to use, you need a piece of paper for each that measures one and a half by three. So I have my selection of little treats here, and all you need to do is um, put adhesive on one end. Oops, upside down. Like that. And then you line up. You're basically just trying to cover up the brightly colored um, label that's already on it. And you just wrap it around, and then once you get to the back, you kind of, you can try to make it even, but you really, I don't know. It won't look bad if you don't get it perfect. Um, so I'm just going to do the rest of these really quick. Okay. Aren't those cute? Love the way those turn out. Okay, so, and then we're going to do some stamping. We're using the Something Something stamp set. We're going to use the Let's Celebrate stamp. I really like the font on that. I think it's very cute. And then we're going to use Lost Lagoon ink to match. Okay, and to punch it out, we're going to use the one and three quarter circle punch. And then we're going to take some of the silver glimmer paper. This stuff is awesome. I can't get enough of this. I'm using it a lot in a lot of my projects, especially with Christmas just around the corner. And you're going to punch out a scallop circle that measures, that's the two and three eighths circle. And then we're going to need dimensionals. Um, I'm going to put two on the back of this just because the glimmer paper is a little bit hard to um, have things stick to it very well. So. I'm going to use two of these and just center it in the middle. Okay. I'm going to need to use the Stamp and Pierce mat and poke a hole at the top in one of the scallops and make it kind of a big hole. We're going to stick some baker's twine through it. We have the silver baker's twine. package. I'm just going to thread that through the hole. It is a little tricky because of the extra silver Saran that's in there and it likes to stick to the glitter so it's kind of a a double whammy there as far as ease of getting the twine in there but give it another go here Okay, there we go, and you're going to want to stick the pretzel, or sorry, the um, treats go into, they're called pretzel bags, and I got these at Michael's, and I used my coupon, of course, and um, I'm not sure how many you can get in here, probably quite a few, but I only put four in each, in each bag, so what you're going to do is just, um, Put them in in whatever order you want. I'm trying to do the dark and then light and then the dark and then the light to give it a little bit of interest. Like that. And then we're going to take some of the, oh, loop the baker's twine in a knot at the top like that. 
And then we're going to use the Lost Lagoon um, in color ribbon and just tie a knot or tie a single knot through that and then you're going to want to put the tag through the loop or through the one end of the ribbon like this and then finish tying your bow if you want to tie a bow I'm going to do a bow you can do just a plain knot too and that will work tails to this, to the baker's twine, and then I'm going to trim the top of the bag up too because we don't need to have that much excess. There. So that's the project for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.